Hi guys, how are you today? And I hope everyone is doing great. And for me, I'm doing absolutely fantastic. I'm trying to stay positive, only positive thinking here. So uh, today I'm making a follow-up video for my plantar fasciitis because two months ago I went and had in injections for my uh, plantar fasciitis and uh, today too I have an appointment at 11.15 to do the injections for both legs and uh, to be honest with you <laughs> I am scared I am scared. Why? Because um, the injections that I did uh, last time, it was quite painful. <laughs> the pain that I was having and it was unbearable. So I'm just praying to God that, you know what, I won't have that pain that I had from the last experience. And I'm hoping that, you know, it's not going to be the same uh, pain and uh yeah Oof. it's not easy but um, stay positive where and i know you know what i'm not alone <laughs> i'm not alone please please if you have feeling what i'm feeling do not hesitate go see a doctor because i don't think a lot of people knows about this condition so in some way, I'm glad that it chose me because in the end, I can help someone else, someone else out there, you know. Because me too, I didn't know what it, this condition was. I didn't know, so yeah. And I'm glad, you know, it chose me. And I'm not gonna let it uh, beat me out. <laughs> I'll fight it. <laughs> So yeah, um, and I'm gonna take my little kid with me because she said like, mama, I want to be a doctor because she wants to heal my feet. So she asked me, mama, can I come to the doctors with you? And I was like, yeah, let's go. So she's gonna come with me. So yeah, because she wants to be a doctor. Yay. <laughs> my baby wants to be a doctor. <laughs> she has a lot of questions. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, I hope it be okay. Yeah, because uh, walking was hard, and uh, yeah, but the healing part, I can feel the difference from when I started to now. There's uh, a difference, though, you know, uh, because the exercise do not work, but I still do the exercise like before the pain that I used to have no I don't have it as much um, I can handle the pain that I have now because before I couldn't even stand I for people who actually know me they saw that I could I, I was in pain and one friend I remember one day I was wearing slippers and then I had uh, I had the attack I just could not walk she offered she's like let me carry you i was like no best thing that we can do is we just walk slowly she just felt so sorry she wanted to worry about me i just kept talking to her and we're talking she's like i can see you're in pain i'm like yeah just let's just talk we got talking as we as we're walking so my mind is occupied so yeah and uh yeah, and she was like, I just want to carry you. And I'm like, I know, me too. I want someone to carry me. But you know what? I don't want everybody to think that it's the girl with the condition. No. So, yeah. It's all good. I'm scared. <laughs> I am scared. But it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's okay. Hmm? And the other time, I even put on heels. <laughs> But then I, I put on heels. <laughs> the next day I couldn't walk because the attack came back. I used up what I had, what I had, the energy that I saved up. <laughs> but I really want, I'm praying to wear my heels back, you know. I want to wear my heels back. 
because I have really pretty shoes and then they're all size 36 37 and I can't give them away because all my friends they're all size of 38 uh, 38 to 40 41 42 you know and i'm the only one with small feet and this makes me a bit happier but the only thing is like it's sad why do i have these shoes but i'm praying that you know what pretty soon i will wear my heels uh-huh i will wear my heels and i will rock them because i have the most prettiest shoes ever you know they are all colorful they are weirdly amazing <laughs> <laughs> they are weird but they're pretty 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 colorful and pretty good shoes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so i want to wear my heels pretty soon so yeah anyway guys i have to go i don't want to be late because i'm always late to everything so i don't want to be late because this is my health so not getting later huh? i'm always late for everything but not for my health health and money no baby we're not gonna be late uh -uh. health and money mm -hmm. we're not gonna be late so i gotta go and uh, i see you later and uh, i will come back and tell you what happened and what went on and what yeah so, hee -hee. see you I know plantar fasciitis treatment can be very expensive, but if you have insurance, the insurance will cover the rest of the bills. Don't be afraid to go see a doctor. And that's for me, I only paid 46 uh, euros and the rest was covered by the, by the insurance. So yeah, I'm glad I have insurance to cover all the costs. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On our way to see our doctor, so we're not wrong. Here. And we have arrived. And we're going to see the secretary. Just right here, mommy. Right here. Let's go, sit down. Where do we sit? Right here? Yay! Yay! Yeah. 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 And then we are waiting right here. We are waiting for our doctor right here. And she will the inject needle me. Doctor? Huh? The needle doctor? Yeah, the needle doctor. <laughs> Stop. Don't scream. Alana, please don't scream, baby. So, hey guys, I just want to do the follow up about the, um, the injection. So I went to the hospital and they and my doctor she made uh, the um, the injections for my plantar fasciitis and uh, it went pretty well and uh, I am so glad that I I made the second appointment but anyway I had to anyway to to make the second appointment because um you you need the second injections so yeah it went pretty well and uh i have great news i think this will be the last um step for me i pray because if not it will have to be surgery and i don't want surgery on my legs so from what she said she said this is the last day for me and her and uh i had uh, the two injections and to be honest i don't know what i was scared about i don't know what i was scared about it was not painful the injection it was not painful i barely felt it only at the end when she she flashed when it went in it was not painful when she only flashed the 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 medicine in inside you know with the injection that's when I felt at the end because you know what I think he has to pass to where the the problem is. So yeah, when she she did that, that's when I felt the pain. But it wasn't as bad as the first injection, and I'm so happy, and I'm so thankful for all the medical teams that have been there for me step step by step, and they've been so understanding, and they don't even question. You just say, okay, I'm in pain, and that the hospital that that hospital i think is like oh, all the medical team that on that on point you know like on the top 
<laughs> they, 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 the moment that you're arriving, you know, they say the, the front desk, super nice. Or maybe it's just me. <laughs> but for me, super nice. And then you reach the doctors, they're super nice. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad that I went for, for, I went and I saw the doctors for my condition. So here is what I went. And uh, sorry, I don't have anyone. My my man, my man is away. He's going to, um, to work. So this is um, both legs. So I will remove. I have both legs. So yeah, I don't know how to do it. So this is today. This is where I got my uh, injections. From there. So you see. Maybe I make the camera a little bit closer. So here, I uh, have my injections done. It's still a little bit bleeding, but to be fine, it's fine to stop. And the next leg here, so uh, here is better. This one didn't bleed as much as the other one, so I yeah. Uh, so for a few days, I have to remove it. Maybe it's a little bit swollen. So I, I can feel it. I can feel the pain. It's going like that. That's where the injection went. Yeah. And this one too. The pain is like from here, and then it's gone. I could feel the liquid of the medicine going that side. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with some people with this condition uh some people they only have it on one leg uh, and um some people with just uh, exercise it goes away if uh, the the bottom here hasn't been damaged for me i think i took it before i could see the doctor i took it was too long before I, before i could see the right doctor yeah so for some people uh it's just a shock wave and it's healed and for me so of me it took me to get to the injection they said when i was doing the wave shock the doctors there said it's better for you to just uh, the the recommended oh no just continue with um with the uh, exercise um it's better for you uh than pushing chemicals but uh, at the end of the day, everybody they have the choice to do what they want. So for me, I went to here. But the only thing that I pray that I don't want to do is to have uh, the, the operation. So I, I pray it won't get to that. But I, I can already feel the difference. Huh? I can already feel the difference. I can walk. But today, <laughs> with the injection, no, I can't walk. <laughs> Today is bed resting day. I'm going to rest and do nothing. I'm going to do absolutely nothing. And I have to keep my mind positive. So I have to stay positive, stay focused, occupy my mind. So yeah, okay. <sighs> Look where we are. <laughs> But in a good way everybody that has been following me on this journey is i started like i think i think four months ago but now i'm glad like it's almost over so yeah it's not easy for everyone who has this condition so you know what just stay positive be happy laugh when you even when you're pain just laugh and people will wonder is she the girl who in pain that ignore the pain that's why I think this is where I've reached. I got used to it. That I'm just ignoring it. You know, I ignore it. But anyway, I'm almost healed. I know that I am healed. <laughs> I am healed. <laughs> Soon I'll be able to wear my beautiful shoes. Just if you have it, the condition, please go seek help. There is help out there. I know it's going to cost a lot of money, but it's okay. It's your health. Your health comes first. Put money on your health. 
there are professionals out there if one doctor uh, tells you something and you're not satisfied go and see another doctor and if that doctor you're not happy with that doctor go see another doctor until there'll be one doctor who's gonna understand you who actually know what you have because it was not easy for me to be where I am now I have less pain and I can wake up in the morning from my bed and put my tiptoe on the ground without thinking like I'm stepping on needles in the morning that's how bad it was I could not even walk from uh, for, for 10 minutes without saying I need to go back home and sit when I talk about it I feel like I want to cry you know because I know that I've come a long way it was it has been a great journey for me myself and I and for my for you guys who have been watching me and for my friends I can actually do activities with them. I can actually go and I take my daughter to the park and she spent quality time with me and her and my friends and her, my friend's children, you know, without me asking my friend if my daughter... Oh, my God. This is, this is, this is hard. Without asking my friend if she can take my daughter with. I can actually go and I take her to the park. And uh, we can go, to, we can go, last time I went to the beach, <laughs> I went to the beach and without me screaming, without anything, you know, like, I, if you're not satisfied with one doctor, seek many, you know, explain what you have. If they're cutting you off, tell them, okay, you are you the one in pain or it's me in pain, you know, because actually like one time I went to see a doctor and he only told me walk here. <laughs> <laughs> and walk that right there <laughs> and then he told me yo yo mm, the shoot you know your leg is not straight you know but that doesn't matter anymore now i have uh, injections and uh i will keep on updating you on what has happened it's not going to stop i'm not going to, i'm not going to stop but i'm glad i hope i have helped but I won't stop talking about it. I'll keep on talking about it until maybe I, if I can help one person, why not? You know, I'm not, I'm not ashamed. I know there's people who are like, okay, why should I be there? And I should be talking about this condition to other people and stuff, you know, but if I can help one, two people, three people, four people, it's okay. And, um, I'll keep on talking about it until I'm going to touch three hearts, four hearts, five hearts, <laughs> 10 hearts. I want to, I want to, I want to touch 15 hearts if I can, you know? <laughs> yes. You know? Yeah. But I'm just happy. Like, you know what? I can spend some quality time with my daughter. We can do so much, so many things. We could do it before. It's just, I was getting tired more. You know, like, uh, it's not up here. I'm not tired. But mentally and with my foot, they were affecting my mental health too because I just did not understand what was wrong with me. And uh, but I'm so glad I have, like, a child who's really understanding. And then she's like, Mama, can I carry your bag? Mama, this. Now, now I think now she's more happier because, you know what? I'm spending more time with her. We can go to the park. We can go to the theme park. We can go to the beach without me uh, saying, okay, you go. I will catch you. I can run. Not as uh, before, but <laughs> I can try. <laughs> and I, I'm so happy like this uh, condition happened during COVID because it was uh, during when I was like just inside doing, I think, nothing. I think my muscle was confused. It was like, okay, girl, what is happening with you? You know, uh, you've been very active. You know, you've been running up and down. You've been uh, doing sports and now you're not doing any of them. So, you know what? I think my muscles were like lost. <laughs> well, the signal out there was like, no, what is happening? It's true. I was very fit. So yeah, well, guys, please, I have to go. Please subscribe to my channel. 
and I hope to see you soon. So, for those who are visiting me for the first time on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click on notification bell for the next video. Please don't miss out. I have many topics to talk about. I have vlogs, I have stories, and um, please make great choices. And I hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon. I love you. Thanks.